everyone, my name is Bokiz. How you all doing? Welcome to a brand new tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on how to make and how to show that cow cotton. Yeah. <laughs> so before we get started, are you subscribers? I will always ask you. If not, make sure you hit on the red button. And thank you so much because recently we hit 100,000 subscribers. And hi, and my team says a massive thank you to you because if you watch our videos, if you share with your friends and family, even if you give us thumbs up, even thumbs down, you are all part of this success story. I will say thank you so much. Please, if you are not subscribed yet, take time to hit on the red button, tap on the notification bell so that you get notification each time we put up the video. Right now, let's go back to the work table. Before that, what are the measurements you will need for this lovely caftan? First, you need your round shoulder measurement. So you just have to take your round measurement. Like for me, mine is 48. But I'm actually making this for a plant. She actually came in to get her outfit. And I told her, I have a surprise for you. I'll just make use of your measurement for this video. So her own round measurement is 38. Another essential measurement you need from the nape of your neck down to your hip. You also need the nape of your neck to above your knee measurement. It could be two to three inches above your knee. Then you need the overall length of the caftan. Fine, it's an off shoulder, but you need the measurement from the nape of your neck down to your toe. That is from here to floor length. So now let's go back to the water table and get started. I'll be making use of this fabric. So this will be for the upper part, while this will be for the main caftan. Then I got a question on the series of cow caftan I made as can you use African print fabric? It won't be good for this. It won't be good, so don't make use of it. So for the lower part, I'll make use of this fabric, and this is a stretchy fabric. This will be better for the upper parts, so it kind of bring out the beauty of the dress. I'll be making use of this. It's slightly stretched, not so stretchy. You can use a very stretchy material, but when I get there, I will explain how you go about the measurement. Here now I have three and a half yards because the total length of the dress is 60 inches. So when you multiply that by two, that will give you 120 inches. So you need about three and a half yards for this. Now I'm going to fold the fabric. Now this is the fabric. This fabric is by uh, 60. You can actually use a fabric by 45 because remember for the off shoulder, the main upper Part of it will be like three and a half inches between three and a half to four. That totally depends on your preference. But I will make use of three and a half inches for the upper part. So this cow caftan will be somewhere around here towards your handhold. Can you see that? So what I'll do now is to fold over. The reason why I said you can use by 45 is that so it will start somewhere around here. So meaning from here down to here within 10 to 12 is quite okay so by the time you fold by 45 it will be okay for it but here i have by 60 which i will have to trim off because from the start of the caftan dress the main dress to the sleeve area will be 12 inches so i will have to trim off some fabric because it is by 60 but by 45 you don't need to trim out any fabric so now this is the width of my fabric that is the three and a half yards why this is the length which is by 60. what i will do now is to fold this into two so i'll just make sure i fold this into two so i have my 60 inches towards this side after doing that then i will have to fold over like this so i'll just do that and then show you the fabric i folded it neatly make sure you adjust so well so the first measurement we will need because we will take our measurement vertically. First, you need half of your handhold. You might be wondering why, but you will get to understand as we proceed. So half of our handhold is seven and half. So seven and half is here. The next measurement will be from the nape of our neck down to our hip, which is 22 inches. That will be here. The next one will be the nape of our neck down to above our knee, which is 34. It could be two to three inches above your knee level. So that's easy. So I'm going to connect all these points into a straight line. 
I've extended all the lines, so this is half of the ham hole from the nape of the neck to the hip, then above the knee level. So we'll be working first from the head, the shoulder line, down to above the knee. So the next thing now is for the shoulder measurement. But this is an off shoulder that will be gathered to bring out the beauty and make the cow form so well. So what we will do now is this. Our shoulder measurement is actually 13. But normally when we are drafting, we use half of the shoulder measurement. But for this, I would make use of the whole 13. Why? Because I would have to gather it. So what I will do now is to measure 13 inches from the edge. Now this is 13 inches. I will mark that point. So this will be the beginning of the fall. Why from here down here will be the sleeve. Remember I said this will, after falling, it will be the, uh, around the hand hole. So this is where we will connect the upper part, the other material we will be using. So now, as I've said, from around my hand hole to where I want the sleeve to end, I told you 12, 10 to 12 inches is okay. But I will just make use of 12. So from this point now, I will just mark 12. So that was what I was telling you that if you are making use of, uh, fabric that is by 45 it will still be okay because you still get like let me check so this is like 25 so you will still get like a sleeve of 10 inches which is okay yeah so if you are using a fabric of by 45 it will still work because you get a sleeve of 10 inches which is which is quite okay so from here now I'll just make sure I draw this line straight because I will be cutting this off ruler can you see from the end of the sleeve i'll just make a straight line down to above the knee level because we'll be trimming that off can you see that okay good so let's continue this is the straight line so this is where the sleeve will end so now remember we always had shoulder slope but because it's an off shoulder and we'll cover it from this side, I'll just come down by two inches is quite okay from the end of the sleeve here or one and a half. So either one, just make use of two inches. I'll mark that here. Then I'll connect with my ruler to this point. is kind of moving around so can you see that so that's the shoulder slope then for the sleeve the sleeve opening because the sleeve will be around this side so all you have to do is to take the measurements of your client or yourself around this side so for her hers is 11 inches so half of that will be five and a half so I'll just make it six and half because I'm going to join this side also join this side so that is going to be six and half so from this shoulder slope i will measure six and half can you see that at this point so this is six and half this is the beginning of the shoulder slope so from here to here will be the sleeve so by the time it fall it falls this will be where your hand will come out from your sleeve opening hope you understand that so note that now let's go back to the neck region so what I'll do now is to just connect from this edge the measurement of the shoulder, the 13 inches straight down here. So let me just use my pattern master to cut that out. Can you see that? That will be the neck region. By the time I cut it out, you will get the perfect picture. So can you see so let me quickly go over it again this is from here down here is half of my ham hole so uh, um, half of a ham hole is seven and a half inches which is here then from here I inserted a shoulder measurement fine normally we work with half of our shoulder measurement but because we want to gather this neckline I made use of the 13 inches 
So from there, I measured my sleeve length from around my ham hole down here, which is 12 inches. Did you get that? Then from there, I measured the sleeve opening of six and a half inches with timing allowance inclusive. So that was how I got this upper part. Now let us move over to the hip and then the on that above the knee measurement to move this upward so as to work on the lower parts. Can you see that? So now this is the hip line. This is above the knee and this is the end of the dress. So this is the hem. So that's the end of the dress. So above the knee now, I will have to insert the hip measurement of my client. Her hip measurement is 36. That's the total circumference. So half of that would be 9 inches. But I will add extra 1 inch to it to make it 10. Or you could go as far as 11. But I'm going to insert 10. So this is 10 inches. This is the line above the knee. Then hem of the dress, I will insert 10 inches too. Then draw a straight line. Can you see that? So this is the line. The next thing now is to get the midpoint between the hip line and above the nail line which is here. Can you see that? The next thing now is to curve down to this particular measurement. But what I will do is this. Let me get my pattern master. I just want to get a little bit curve around this part. So just place it in such a way that is sort of connect to this place because of the cow formation because I don't want this place to be so straight. So I just make a slight curve. Can you see that? Down here, then I connect to the midpoint. So can you see what I have now? So that is it. Then I will have to move it a little bit downward. So remember this is the sleeve opening. Remember this is the sleeve opening. So this is the midpoint point between the hip line and the and above the knee. So I'll now have to connect from here now straight down to the sleeve. So what do I do? So I'll have to cut from here. From that midpoint, just connect it somewhere around here. That's okay. You can watch my other video on how to cut a caftan. A cow caftan, you will get a better picture. So from the midpoint, I just connected this down here. The next thing is to cut it out. I will now have to move this upward so as to start cutting from the lower part. So first, I will trim this. The end of that measurement, I'll move this forward and start cutting. So, don't forget this hobby part. Let me just pull it down a little bit. So let me start from the neckline. Now 
now this is the neckline then i'll cut the slope have to notch this area because from here to here will be the sleeve opening. So with this I will know that the sleeve will be. So this now will fall this way. So this will be the neckline that will attach the upper part. This will fall, this will be the opening and this will be the formation of the pearl. Can you see that? So let's go to the upper part. Third, I'll make use of this fabric. The, it's slightly stretchy. You can see it's slightly stretchy, not too stretchy. But you can make use of a very stretchy material. But in that case, you will have to take away one inch to two inches from your round measurements. So it depends on how stretchy the fabric is. If it is slightly stretchy like mine, just use the exact round measurement of your client or yourself. Like this person I'm making this outfit for, around shoulder is 38 inches. So I'm cutting out exact 38 inches. So what I did was, I cut out two. One for the back, one for the front, and it's on fold. Can you see that? So I just cut out four inches because I actually wanted three and a half inches. So here I have four, can you see? The height is four inches but by the time i take off half an inch to sew to the main dress i will have three and a half which is quite okay so after doing that half of 38 inches is 19 so here i have 19 can you see 19 for the front 19 for the back remember this four inches is on fold so when you open it up it is eight inches so i'll go over the stretchy fabric again if you are using a fabric that is so stretchy Take away one inch or two between one, one and a half, two inches, depending on the level of stretchness. You take it away from the round measurement. Okay, let's proceed. What I'll do now is this. Let me just take one. I can use it to cut out the other. But I want you to understand so well. This upper part, remember your shoulder is a little bit curvy like this. What I will do now is to take away half an inch from the edge half inch can you see that then I will just have to make a slight curve I hope you can see that can you see what I have so I have to trim this off so what I did to this part I'll have to do to the other part so I'll just mark this part, place it on this and cut out. I've marked it out, so I'll just cut it. Then I placed the front and back, and then I'll have to trim this off gently. It will look like, so let me trim the other part. Now, this is what it looks like after trimming it. Can you see it's curved, so it sits well on your shoulder. How do you sew this together now? Because we have to sew it together to become one. What I'll do is this. Open this up. Open this up too. Take to the sewing machine. Make sure the midpoint matches. Then you will now have to sew between quarter inch to half an inch from here down here. So after sewing it, then we can fold it. I'll sew the other side too. After sewing it, this is what it looks like. Can you see that? Oh my god, this is gonna be beautiful. So this is it. Sewing it the side. Can you see that? Let me show you so well. So this is what it looks like. So after folding, then it looks like this. Now let's set this aside. So we go to sew the main dress. So what do we do now? Let me just open it up. So this is on the wrong side. So opening it up, so we will have to gather this this way. What I'll do now is this. 
here is the sleeve opening you have to note the sleeve opening so first i'll have to hem this sleeve area because it's no longer the shoulder because we already cut out the shoulder so i have to hem this just quarter inch or half an inch is okay i have to sew it all down then note this is the sleeve opening this is the sleeve opening because when it falls your hand will be here so first sew this part leave this part open then from here i'll have to sew all down from here all down through the curves till the hem of the dress so i'm going to do the same thing to the other side now this is what i have after sewing so this is the neckline in which we are going to gather so this will be the sleeve here will be the here will be the sleeve so this is the sleeve opening here so what i will do now is to just fold this in just take half an inch and you see that just finish up the sleeve opening also on the other side so from there from the sleeve opening i just sew it all down the next thing now is this i'm going to sew a straight stitch make sure you are using the longest stitch on your sewing machine you can just start from anywhere or use needle and thread that will be quite easy just use needle and thread to sew it all around and then adjust it to have this amount of measurement you have here although it's 38 but it's reduced now so you just gather it up to match this upper part so i'll take it to my sewing machine now finish the sleeve opening then just run a long stitch all over then i will gather to fit in this upper part the upper part has been gathered now can you see i just use me to do and thread to do that so it has been gathered to the size of this upper part. The next thing now is to attach it to the upper part. Can you see that? So there are two ways. You could just fix it as you see they are fixing a band. But to just have a stress-free one. Now this is on the wrong side. But you just have to sew it on the right side. Now this is on the right side. This is the right side. So you just have to place this. But make sure this side, this is the sleeve area where the shoulder ended this has to match this seam the seam here has to match this seam please note that so this is on the wrong side so i have to place it right side facing each other because i want to sew on the wrong side so this has to match you have to note that can you see that then you have to start adjusting it so i'll just sew it all around and make sure this also matches the seam here just take my time to explain that so the seam here also match this can you see then you walk around the other parts so i'm just going to sew it on the wrong side please the right side of the fabric has to be facing this side so i'll now have to sew half an inch all through then overlock the edges to have a neat finishing i'll do that and show you now i've attached it can you see so nice so it's gonna be like this can you see so this is the sleeve opening can you see that so this cow will form all the way so i'll just call my little friend to just put this on and then see how it looks on her it's so beautiful <laughs> let me show you now this is the result of the outfit we just made. You can see so beautiful and nice. My client, her name is Rachel. So Rachel, say hi to my fans. Hi. <laughs> you can see it's very, very beautiful. Just try to make yours and share with us on our Facebook group, Sewing Innovation. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Bye for now. Bye-bye.